We love answering audience questions. We get them via email and via voicemail. You can leave voicemails at 219 david p and you can email us through our website, davidpackman.com. Eric wrote to me. He said, I have a question for Lewis. What's it like living in Texas, knowing how Republicans are ruling the state and bringing up crazy measures like anti-abortion bills, creationism bills? How long do you think you can uh, take it or rather, how long do you think it will take for Texas to become a progressive state? And finally, why do you live in Texas, Lewis? So let's take this in pieces, Lewis. First of all, what is it like living there, given the strong conservative forces, in spite of the fact that you happen to be in Austin, which is like the most liberal area? Yes, Austin is very liberal, but <clears throat> it is still uh, subject, of course, to everything that Republicans have done to the state uh, on that on that state level. So there's no income tax, right? So anywhere and everywhere you go, you're getting hit with fees and taxes that are outrageous because they have to make up for no income tax. Ah, and this is interesting, Lewis. This is the Mitt Romney thing from Massachusetts. Mitt Romney famously said when he was governor of Massachusetts, he never raised taxes. However, the fee for getting license plates for your car doubled the fee, all sorts of fees went up, but technically they're not taxes. So what are some of the fees that are outrageous there in lieu of having an income tax? Uh, the normal highways here, once you leave, um, I guess what is considered Travis County, which is Austin, um, just going back and forth a couple miles on those highways, you, you can get hit with $6 in, in fees. Um, just driving under the, uh, you know, it's like a toll, basically highway yeah. tolls. You've got, uh, outrageous car registration fees. Uh, you've got, I believe they just put into effect a, a, like a junk food tax. Um, and I know there are other examples that are uh, evading me right now, but, um, that is definitely noticeable. And of course those are all regressive. Uh, they, they hurt the poor, uh, more than they hurt the rich. Yeah. Although if you're really poor and you don't even drive, then you avoid the tolls, certainly. So that might be kind of an exception in some way, but that that's kind of pushing it. So do you have any sense that Texas could become a blue state? I mean, we've talked about it on the show a little bit. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of momentum in big cities to, to try and get that done. But of course, Texas is very big. And it's, it's going to take a while, but I do think that that's the direction the country is headed in in general. So, um, yes, I think it will happen eventually. All right. And then why do you live in Texas? Uh, I had some friends here and I just wanted to be somewhere where it's not 60 below and, um, and Hey, you know, it, it's paid off. It's paid off pretty well. And also, uh, it's just, <laughs> it, it, uh, it's a great city. Austin's a great city. All right. So there it is, Eric. I hope that answers your questions.